Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the University of Bristol. First and foremost, congratulations on earning a place here. We're delighted you've chosen to come and study with us. My name is Hugh Brady, and I'm the Vice Chancellor and President of the University. I have overall responsibility for, for, for running the university. It's a bit like a combination between a headmaster and a chief executive. Um, I'm a physician scientist by, by, by training. Um, as some of you can probably tell from my accent, I, I'm a graduate of University College Dublin of UCD on the neighboring island in, in medicine. And then my specialty area is nephrology, so kidney disease, dialysis, and transplantation. My clinical training was at the University of Toronto. Most of my academic research career was at Harvard Medical School. And I then returned to Dublin as president of UCD for 10 years and saved the very best wine until last. So I took over the reins at the University of Bristol approximately, in, uh, approximately five years ago to the day, actually, when I think of it. And, um, and it's been a, a real honor. Um, what attracted me to Bristol? Probably many of the attributes that, have, that attracted you to Bristol. Uh, first, having the real pleasure and honor of leading um, one of the world's top research universities but equally one of Europe's uh, leading civic universities. And that's an important characteristic of the University of Bristol. The, for me, the, the university has a, a, a unique combination of tradition uh, with individuality and, and edge. And this wonderful, this great hall gives you a sense of that tradition. And the, the people you see on its walls, and uh, indeed yourselves, give you a sense of the diversity of our learning community. For over a century, uh, the university has prided itself in attracting the very, uh, the, the brightest and best students and staff from across the globe. And virtually all of those students have graduated on this platform behind me, as you will do in the not too distant future. Believe me, that journey uh, goes, goes by in the blink of an eye. When you arrived today, you should have received um, a lapel badge. I expect you to wear it everywhere. Um, but it, um, what, what, it, what it is, it's I suppose, a small symbol of uh, your joining our learning community. The badge shows our coat of arms, which is granted to the university with its uh, royal charter in 1909. And its symbols include the open book of learning and the ship and castle from the medieval seal of the city of, of Bristol. The university mace is here behind me. It is also decorated with those symbols. And it was donated to the university to mark our first graduations in 1910. And it will be also on that stage behind me when you graduate. To my mind, the university has, has a, a, a unique and, and really wonderful personality, a really independent and a creative spirit, a true appetite for innovation, and, and for alternative points of view. Bristol, I, I hope you'll find, is brimming with vitality and diversity, and you'll find that there's, there's always something creative and something different going on. Our teaching, our research-rich curriculum is designed to, to challenge you, to stretch you, to encourage you to broaden your horizons, and to discover the reach of your own potential. And through our world-class institutes and, and academic schools, we seek to break down barriers to realize new discoveries and to translate fr fresh thinking into bold actions that would benefit uh, everyone. You join the university at an exciting time. We have, over the past years, launched a range of new initiatives designed to further enrich and support the student journey. You will, as an example, have the opportunity not just for that deep dive into the subject that you've chosen, but also to uh, engage with our Bristol Futures curriculum, which gives you that opportunity to complement your disciplinary depth with academic breadth, so to broaden uh, your academic experience and indeed to strengthen your career prospects through a, a range of innovative learning opportunities and extracurricular activities. You'll see major new investments in our 
uh, supports and infrastructure, uh, examples being the residential life advisors in halls of residence, the kind of parallel student well-being service based in the academic schools, uh, investments in our buildings, investments in our IT infrastructure, and indeed in our sports facilities. Our students are very much at the heart of our university, and we'll be seeking your advice over the years ahead on other improvements that we can make. Students are represented, represented at all levels of governance and management across the university, and we listen to your ideas and take them very seriously. Now, of course, you've had lots of advice already, I'm sure, this week. But you're not going to get out of here without me giving you some. Um, first, just a few words on that, uh, on that transition, because most of you, not all of you, but most of you have come from secondary school into university. So that, that transition from secondary education to university. You're now part of a, a learning community, and the biggest difference is probably that you're encouraged to take control of your own learning. Your tutors, your lecturers and professors are here to inspire you, they're here to support you, they're here to challenge you, but one thing they won't do is spoon feed you. It can take time to get used to that new dynamic, but be confident, however, that your personal tutors and other staff are here to support you. So if you find that academic transition difficult, and it can be difficult, please con contact them early, talk to them early, don't let it drift. There are very few problems that they haven't, haven't faced before. Across the university, uh, you've probably got a flavor for this already, across the university we place great emphasis on the links between teaching and research. I referred earlier to that research-rich curriculum. So it's that link, that characteristic of the curriculum that makes a Bristol education profoundly different from that in many other universities. We go to great lengths to embed cutting edge, world-class research in your learning experience. Now, as you well know, knowledge and technology are advancing faster than ever before. And equally, most of the complex challenges facing our society and our planet will only be solved through world-class research and increasingly through multidisciplinary research. So at Bristol, we strive to equip you with the, the values, with the intellectual capability, and with the technical skills to thrive in that rapidly changing and advancing world. Your lecturers and professors are world experts in their fields. They are leading researchers in their fields. They are the individuals who are writing the latest papers and the latest books. And your courses are very deliberately infused with their ideas, their discoveries, their technological breakthroughs. But as importantly, we give you the opportunity to learn how to research, to learn how to generate new knowledge. Uh, you can do that through summer projects. Some of you will have an opportunity to take an intercalation research year. Um, and the vast majority of you will take a final year research project. And I'd urge you to uh, embrace those opportunities whenever you can, because they will be truly transformative, you, transformative over your time at Bristol. Some of you will take to university life undoubtedly like ducks to water. But for probably the majority of you, it does take time to settle. Some of you will undoubtedly experience some challenges when you're here. Uh, life has a way of throwing the odd curveball. It may be family issues. It may be a physical or mental health issue. It could be financial difficulties. What I would assure you is that you won't be alone in facing those difficulties. At Bristol, there's always someone to help. Both the university and the Students' Union have a range, a wide range of services designed to support you through those difficulties. And I'd urge you to make good use of them, to engage early, and, and to remember that it is a sign of strength and not weakness to seek help. During your time at Bristol, you should uh, learn as much outside of the classroom as you will uh, inside. The university and the Students' Union offer a, a wonderful array of, of clubs, academic societies, uh, sporting facilities, and volunteering opportunities. And again, I'd urge you to explore these, choose one or two, immerse yourself 
in them. You'll learn so much from each other. You should have great fun doing so. And in many cases, they lead to uh, new friendships that will truly last a lifetime. To those of you who have arrived at Bristol with, uh, with friends already at the university or coming with you to the university, I would encourage you to go out of your way to include those who don't. Indeed, if you leave the university with the same group of friends that you entered with, you'll have really missed a huge opportunity. To all of you who are from the UK, uh, I'd, I'd uh, again urge you to make a real effort to welcome and include our international students. Uh, we have the privilege of hosting students from well over 100 countries. I'd ask you to make them feel welcome, um, but, but, but equally to learn about their countries and their cultures. Use it as an opportunity to internationalize your experience, share your, exp your, your aspirations and your dreams, and I guarantee you, you won't regret it. Even if you're naturally shy, it's, it's just worth remembering that most uh, friendships at universities start with a, with a simple hello. And this is slightly corny, I take, make no apologies for it, I'm going to ask you just for two minutes, say hello to the person to your left or to your right, particularly if you've never met them before. Introduce yourself, what you're studying, what you hope to get out of Bristol. Okay, can, can I have you back? So, um, God, I could have usefully just left the room and let you at it. Um, but just try that. Just try it every lecture, every seminar, every tutorial, every uh, lab. Make that effort. Say hello to the person to your left and your right. What is the very worst thing that can happen? You don't get on, you never have to speak to each other again. But you'd be amazed at the number of simple hellos that lead to a, a lifetime friendship. So just please, if there was one thing I'd ask you to do is to take that on board. Um, finally, I'd encourage you to get to know our wonderful city. Uh, Bristol consistently ranks as one of the UK's finest places to live. Unlike traditional campus universities, because we're not a campus university, we're a civic university, your lecture theatres, your seminar rooms, and your, and your laboratories are within a stone's throw, literally, of a wonderful uh, array of galleries, of museums, of music venues, theatres, coffee shops, uh, sporting venues. And furthermore, we find ourselves partnering with the city increasingly in new and interesting ways. So many of your degree programmes include learning opportunities with the, the city, and its cultural institutions, its businesses, its healthcare organizations, to name but a few. Equally, the university has innovative research partnerships with the city and its institutions in areas ranging from, from transport, uh, to telecommunications, all the way through to population health. And of course, our students, over many decades, year after year, contribute uh, very significantly to the life of the city through their volunteering activities, and I hope that's a baton that you'll also accept the, over the coming year. Our university, is no exaggeration to say, is inextricably linked with, to our city, and indeed it's a package. Uh, and it is that package that adds so much to the University of Bristol experience for both students and indeed staff. So please explore it, get to know it, and enjoy it. On that note, um, we'd like to show you a, a very short film um, which features faces who may become familiar to you over the coming months across the city uh, and across the campus. And, and very importantly, a message from Marvin Rees, who's our mayor of Bristol. So please look at the screens. Welcome to Bristol. 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 Caribou Bristol. Bienvenue à Bristol. Welcome to Bristol University.
I'd love to offer a warm welcome to all the students that come into Bristol. They're a huge part of the city's life. They contribute to the energy, the vibrancy, the creativity, the innovation, all those things that people describe Bristol as being. It's absolutely an essential part of who we are. What I really love about Bristol is it's just so diverse and vibrant. You'll find food for all parts of the world. If there's a cuisine you like, you can get it here somewhere, I promise you. There's so many things here in Bristol, right on your doorstep. Working together, living together, studying together, it makes it easier for us all to be part of a mixed, diverse, but welcoming community. It's a big city, but with a small community feel. You'll find a really welcoming community who's really excited about you being part of it. So I'd really encourage students to explore the whole of Bristol, experience the fullness of what this place has to offer. Not just exploring what there is physically in terms of the parts and the history, but the diversity of cultures. 92 languages spoken in Bristol. We talk about 180 countries of origin. For the fullness of your development, interact with the world that is on your doorstep. And by doing that, you will become richer yourself, but also you will make the city richer. I'm a different person to when I first came, and it has actually increased my confidence. There's a really strong focus at the university to promote inclusivity, to help all students access their teaching without any barriers. Getting around in Bristol is really easy. There are lots of bus routes and there are loads of cycle lanes. You will never get bored in Bristol. There's just so much going on. At the Students' Union, we have over 400 clubs, societies and sports clubs. This is a great way for students to engage in fun activities or organise campaigns for things that they believe in. There are lots of beautiful green spaces in Bristol to escape the city, and it's really nice to go there and clear your mind. While you're here, think about your social life, think about your social networks, participate in physical activities, get out in the city and volunteer. Times are going to be challenging, that's what a degree is but you're going to learn so much. This is a fantastic platform, a fantastic opportunity. And we as a city will do everything we can to make sure that these are some of the best years of your life. So this week uh, you embark on a, a journey of personal, of academic and professional discovery. And like, like all such adventures, what you get out of it Will, be, will depend on what you put into it. We look forward to supporting you and guiding you uh, on your journey over the weeks, months, and years ahead. Now, in truth, I'm really just the, the warm-up act here this evening for Hillary. So we have a fantastic students' union at the University of Bristol, uh, which works tirelessly to represent the students uh, of the university and, and support students in so many different ways. So I'd ask you to give a warm welcome to Hilary, who's going to tell you more about Bristol SU. Hilary. I forgot I was this short. Now I feel like I'm peering over to try and see all of you. Um, so first of all, let me say welcome to the University of Bristol. You have all worked so incredibly hard to get here and you should all be so extremely proud of yourselves. In fact, give yourself another round of applause for getting here and being so successful. <laughs> this is the start of a journey. A journey that will see you go through ups and downs, laughter and tears, failures and successes, but it will all be worth it. Before I give you some advice, I should tell you a little bit about myself and why on earth I'm up here giving you a random speech. My name is Hilary and I'm your undergraduate education officer at the Students' Union. I was elected back in March to represent you on all your academic matters, from how you're taught and examined to how your experience of, of education affects your attainment. I work with six other elected officers, we tend to get called SABs, um, to represent all parts of your experience whilst at university. The Students' Union, or the SU which is easier to say, is a place where you'll find over 400 societies you can be a part of. The networks which represent identity, interest and campaigning groups, and me and your six other full-time representatives and hopefully future friends. Please be our friends, we're all really nice people. So. Three years ago, I was sat right where you are, a bit confused on why I'd been summoned to this big great hall and why there was a shiny pole 
on the stage um, that I didn't really know what it was. It turns out to be the university mace, which is a fancy stick that they hold at special events. What I didn't know then was that it was signifying a journey that would ultimately change my life. All of you sitting here today will one day be sitting right where you are again, feeling the same way you do now, which is hopefully proud and relieved to be here, but for the fact that you were able to get a degree because you stayed focused and worked hard. Now, I don't want you to think that university is just about coming here to get a degree. It's so much more than that. At university is where you find yourself. I came into university not knowing what the future held for me. I had a vague idea of what I liked to do, but had no directional vision of how that would translate into something that I was passionate about and would enjoy post-university. In addition to this, moving from London to Bristol was a huge culture shock for me. Like the buses taking ages to come, huge culture shock for me. I was not going to walk. Without being a part of societies like the African and Caribbean society, being a part of the BME and widening participation networks, and really spending time with meeting people that had similar interests, backgrounds, and personalities to me, I wouldn't have really been able to feel at home and meet the lifelong friends I now have. Now, having graduated, I don't just call myself a graduate of Bristol, but I am now a passionate, committed, and educated woman doing what I love, doing my family proud, and making my impact in the world the way I want to. When you look back on your time in university, I hope that you will be able to say that, you have that the person you have become is someone who you like, someone who you can be proud of, and someone that is ready to start the journey they call life the way they want to. Okay, that got a bit gushy, so we'll move on to less gushy stuff. So, I want to give you all some advice as you start this journey and hope that it will act as a booster for you as you start university. Firstly, set boundaries, organize your time, and take control of your life. Right now is both a time of freedom and commitment for you. You have the freedom to make your own decisions, forge your own path, and do what you want. It's easy to go crazy and want to give your time to everything. Take the time out to try everything you want to try, but make sure you don't overcommit yourself or you'll burn yourself out. It's great when you say yes to the things you want to do, but also find the same confidence to be able to say no to the things you don't want to do too. Having your own time matters, and you need to take responsibility in making sure that you take that time to rest and reflect where possible. Secondly, make friends. You are in an exciting, brand new environment where you are surrounded by people from all walks of life. As daunting as, and awkward as the prospect of meeting new people may seem, it will make your university experience so special. You may not find your lifelong friends in the first week, month, or term, but you will find people that you will experience your memories of university with. The only way to ensure that this happens is to step out of your comfort zone and get out there and meet people. The SU has loads of events to make this easier to do. You just need to show up. And there's lots of free food. Please come and eat all the food. We can't take it anymore. Thirdly, look after yourself and those around you. University is probably the biggest transition of your life so far. It was for me. The idea of being so independent was completely alien to me. It is a significant time where you learn so much about yourself and begin the process of becoming the person you want to be. As exciting as this is, it is important that you take stock of how you are. It's okay not to be okay. You don't have to be put together or completely figured out. What's important is that you are taking it all at your own pace and doing what you need to do to make sure that you are safe and well. Although you're independent at university, it does not mean that you are alone. Reach out to people if you need support. The university is always working on making sure that they have services available for everyone. Be aware of those around you. If someone looks like they're struggling or just having a bad day, just be there for them. Talk to them. Find an activity you can do together. No one should be left lonely. Making sure everybody's okay is everybody's business. Finally, get involved and have fun. Try everything and do what you love. You never know what you'll end up enjoying. Finding a balance whilst at university is so, so important. 
don't allow yourself to get bogged down with just studying. I know I didn't spend most of my time partying. Doing something fun outside of university time will make your time here so special and full of amazing memories. For me, being part of the African Caribbean Society meant I could eat plantain and relax with people who would become my closest friends. Being involved in the SU through the networks meant that I could represent students on issues I'm super passionate about, and that has led me to doing that full time and getting paid too, which is very cool. Getting involved with as many things you can do will open doors and lead you down a path you may never have anticipated, but will be better than you ever imagined. Don't let opportunity, and most importantly, fun, pass you by. Okay, that was a lot of talking, so I better wrap this up. In short, what I'm trying to say is that this will be one of the most impactful times of your lives. I can't promise that everything will be smooth or perfect, but I can assure you that it will be whatever you make it. Have fun, look after yourselves and others. I can't wait to watch you all thrive as you start this amazing journey. Feel free to add me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's pretty lit out there. Um, or you can catch me outside. How about that? I can't help it. I'm so sorry. If you ever want to have a chat or vent or ask me about anything, I'm always happy to talk to you all. Congratulations. And again, welcome to Bristol. Thanks, Hilary. It, uh, it just remains for me to, to close the event. We have o over 7,000 staff at this university. I know we speak for the moment. We say we're delighted that you've joined us to study here. I look forward to seeing you across the campus, across the city, over the months and years ahead, and of course, eventually, to seeing you on this stage at your graduation. And again, that time flies. Um, we're delighted you're here. Welcome to the University of Bristol family. Uh, embrace the opportunities that the university affords you. And above all, enjoy your time with us. Thank you. Okay, guys, before you go and before Hugh goes, um, we've made it a tradition to take a selfie with Hugh at our initiation. Welcome, not initiation, that's weird. Welcome ceremonies. Um, so pour your prettiest or weirdest face if you want and let's take a selfie. <laughs>